The Gulf Arab countries are using mediation, diplomacy, and humanitarian aid to support de-escalation efforts in the current Israel-Hamas war. Citizens across Gulf Arab countries have expressed their support for Palestinians via social media and through some street protests since the war started on October 7th. Gulf Arab countries are all aware of the pro-Palestinian sentiments of their populations and must proceed with caution in how they react to the current war in Israel and Palestine. Saudi Arabia in particular we must proceed with caution because the kingdom is currently in talks with Israel to normalize, to potentially normalize relations. The current violence is likely to slow down these efforts. Since the war began, Saudi Arabia blamed the, quote, systematic provocations, end quote, of the occupation for the current violence. Saudi Arabia has refrained from calling out Hamas directly. And Sa Saudi Arabia has reiterated the importance of working towards a two-state solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Gulf Arab countries have expressed their support for de-escalation and diplomacy in the Israel-Hamas war, but there are clear differences in their public reactions reflecting the nature of their relations with Israel. The UAE and Bahrain are the only two Gulf Arab countries that have normalized relations with Israel and their statements call for restraint and de-escalation but refrain from calling out the Israeli occupation as the main driver of the current violence. The UAE is the only Gulf Arab country to name Hamas in its public statement labeling the Hamas attacks on Israeli civilians as a, quote, serious and grave escalation, end quote. Qatar is playing an important role in mediation efforts. The country hosts Hamas political office, and Qatar has issued the most direct statement placing sole blame for, for the current war on the Israeli occupation. The Qatari foreign ministry stated that it is in talks to meet a prisoner swap deal between Hamas and Israel for women and children, reportedly in coordination with Turkey, Egypt, the U.S., and other countries.